Well, Remy, this is your new home now. <laughs> I'll, I'll never forget all the fun times we had together. Too bad you only live for two years. Logan, dinner's ready. Hurry up before you get the cold out there. Bye, Remy. Say hi to Uncle Faciliar for me. Logan, dinner! Logan, I know that you miss Remy very much, but you have to accept that everyone's life has to come to an end, eventually. What I'm trying to say is that even though Remy is gone, he will still be with you through spirit. Unfortunately, I sometimes see your uncle. o'clock already. Come on, Logan. Finish your food and get to bed. Kid. Can you explain to me why the hell I'm stuck inside a hamster's body? Better yet, why the hell am I buried in your backyard next to a dead hamster? Logan, I'm sorry about this. This whole thing and the fact that I'm in your dead hamster's body. But I know how we're going to put this back to normal. Do you still have the box of all my old stuff? No. My mom sold some of your things at a garage sale. Of course she did. Do you happen to have anything to sew with? Put it to the test.
Thanks, kid. I really appreciate you helping me with this. Once I finish the final step, everything will be right in the world. Trust me. <gasps> I can't live like this anymore. I feel horrible for what I've done. I'm gonna call the funeral home back. Give Vasiliar a better resting place. I'm sorry, bro. Logan! Logan, no! Look, Logan, I'm sorry. I know it's really hard for you, and it's not right for me to have you bury him in the backyard. I was looking at some burial spots recently, and I thought maybe you would like to relocate Remy to a more appropriate place. <laughs>